During the epidemic, epidemic the COVID-19, China was able to, of course, control the, uh, in a very professional way, control the epidemic. And also at the same time, China succeeded in having, in having economic and social development and uh, at very sound uh, levels. So that's, that tells us that China is capable of facing uh, challenges. And during the next stage, I believe that China will continue its development. I'm personally proud that uh, I was the first European foreign minister to sign uh, the cooperation uh, agreement uh, uh, with the People's Republic on, of China on the One Belt, One Road initiative. We do believe in East-to-West cooperation. And we do believe that uh, if, there's a, um, if there's a successful and pragmatic a, a cooperation between East and West based on mutual benefits and mutual respect, <laughs> then uh, peace uh, is going to be easier to, to be achieved, you know. And, uh, and that's why this kind of economic and infrastructure uh, related uh, cooperations are extremely important uh, for us. We would like to be a transit route. No puedo menos que admirar la proeza que han hecho de sacar a cerca de mil millones de gente de la pobreza. Bueno, China tiene su sistema y, y si es del punto de vista económico y de distribución económica ha tenido un éxito formidable. Become a, a global actor um, at the economic level, one of the biggest economies, which is second to the United States. It's very, very significant. But also they have been playing a very important role in the multilateral institutions, uh, in the geopolitics, where we are in partnership with, uh, with China, at a business level, at a skills level. And I think we can be able um, to learn a lot, and in turn, that would be able to help our own country.